Good morning, yogis. We'll start today's sequence laying down flat on our backs. If you have a blanket or a pillow or any props that you'd like to use to find a little bit more comfort in this first shape of our practice, you might reach for those now. Otherwise, we'll rest completely relaxed on our backs. The toes slightly fall outward, palms open up towards the ceiling. <sighs> Greet yourself exactly as you are this morning, this moment. Starting by just listening to the quality of the breath. The breath likely does not feel fully awakened yet. You likely haven't moved too much yet today, and that's okay. Starting the practice in Shavasana, our corpse pose, just as you've started your morning. If you'd like to take a moment to start to set your ujjayi breath, you might practice a slight constriction of the back of the throat. The sensation almost matches that of sipping an air through a straw. It's also been described as the sound of ocean waves crashing on the shore and receding. The breath can be at a pace that feels comfortable to you. We'll work with the breath and let the breath grow as we expand our energy and awaken the body. So it might be a shorter ujjayi for today, for this moment, that's okay. Using your next inhale, let's extend the arms up and overhead. Take a big full body stretch as if it's the first movement that you've had all day from the fingertips all the way through the toes. <sighs> Exhale, we'll hug the knees in towards the chest. Come into a little ball here. Maybe you just gently cup the knees with the hands and take some circles with the legs to massage the low back and the sacrum. <sighs> Allowing both legs to fall over to the right side, we'll extend the right palm out and stack the left palm on top of the right. Your inhale will open up the left hand until the back of the left palm finds the mat behind you. Gaze follows the thumb. Exhale, bring the left palm to stack over the right. Inhale, open up the left hand. Gaze follows the thumb. Exhale, bring the left palm to stack on top of the right. Let's do that a few more times at your own pace of breath. As you breathe and move the left arm, maybe you feel a little bit more expansion through the chest, through the collarbone, the ribs. And as you do so, maybe you let the breath invigorate those parts of the body. The next time that that left palm finds the earth behind you, we'll hold together in a twist. If you'd like a little bit more in the left side body, maybe the left arm reaches up towards the top left corner of your mat. Bring the knees through center. And then allowing the gaze and the arms to extend out to the left side. We'll move through that same flow on this side. Inhale, gaze follows the right thumb, open up the arm. Exhale, bring the right palm to stack over the left. Inhale, right arm reaches, extend, stretch, open up. Exhale, bring the right palm to stack over the left. A couple more times. The next time that you inhale and that right palm finds the mat behind you, hold in your twist. Feel expansion broadening through the chest. Notice how the breathing might be affected in this twisted position. See if you're able to breathe into new spaces, maybe the space in the underarms. We'll bring the gaze back through center, bring the knees through center. Again, hugging yourself into that little ball. Start to rock up and down the spine a few times. Gain a little bit of momentum here. Eventually, the toes will come onto the mat. Maybe hands free, you can bring yourself up into a stand. It's okay if you need to use your hands. 
meeting here in Tadasana, our standing pose. Let's check in with our alignment in our Tadasana, building it from the ground up. We like for feet to be somewhere about hips with distance apart, but you might like to just close the eyes and take a few steps to find a positioning of the feet that feels stable for you and your body. Once we have the feet placed on the mat, we'll lift all 10 toes and feel the arches of your feet lifting so the energy is moving up the legs. Place all 10 toes back down on the mat. Again, we're feeling the energy rise from the heels all the way up through the legs. Maybe you feel the kneecap start to lift. Draw the low belly in towards the spine and lengthen the tail down towards the mat. Palms will open up towards the top of the mat. Inhale, shrug the shoulder blades up towards the ears. Exhale, let the shoulder blades slide down the spine away from the ears. Nice softness through the face. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale, the arms sweep up and overhead, bring the palms to touch. Exhale, hinge at the hips, swan dive forward, forward fold. Invite a nice generous bend into your knees here, let the head hang heavy. Maybe there's a gentle rock from side to side. Little belly will draw in towards the spine as you rest the torso on the thighs. Create a little bit more space for your fold. <sighs> Well, inhale, bring the palms onto your shins. Find a flat back halfway lift. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Press into the feet, inhale, the arms sweep up and overhead, bring the palms to touch. Exhale to bring your palms through to heart center. Nice, let's do that again. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Press into the feet. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, bring the palms through to heart center. Nice one more time like that. Breath to movement. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, find a flat back, palms to shins. Exhale, hinge, fold. Press into the feet, inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, palms come through to heart center. Nice, we'll move through a few, a full sun salutation here to say hello to the day, greet the day, salute the sun. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, swan dive forward. Inhale, find a flat back, palms to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms on the mat, step your feet back into a high plank pose. Let's take a few breaths in this first high plank of the day. Ensure that all 10 fingers are nice and spread and that those pointer fingers are angling straight towards the top of your mat. See if you're able to rotate the creases of the inner elbows forward towards the top of the mat as well. You might start with a little bit of shifting forwards and backwards of the wrists. This also kind of helps to work into the backs of the legs. We'll inhale, exhale, shift the shoulders forward of the wrist, lower down halfway, elbows are stacked over wrists here, nice. Lower all the way down onto the belly, untuck the toes. Walk the front of the pelvis back a little bit further towards the back of the mat to find length in the torso. Palms remain, remain beneath the shoulders. We'll inhale to lift the heart, cobra pose. Nice, draw in from the low belly, engage the muscles in the low back. Exhale to soften the heart back down. With the breath again, we'll inhale, press into the palms, lift the heart. And exhale to release. One more time, Cobra Pose, inhale, lift the heart. Maybe you get a little bit lighter and the hands rely on your muscles a little bit more. And then exhale, tuck the toes under, press the hips up and back. Find your first downward facing dog. It always feels good, especially if we're just waking up, to pedal out those feet, maybe dipping the hips from side to side. <sighs> Building this pose from the ground up, let's check in with our alignment here. We like for feet to be about hips width distance apart. Palms will be about shoulder width distance apart, or maybe even slightly wider if that feels a little bit more stable to you. Invite a soft bend into your knees. Allow the heels to continue to soften down towards your mat. Again, rotating the inner elbows towards the top of your mat here. I like to imagine that I have a string that's attached to my tail and lifting me up towards the ceiling as I press the torso back towards the thighs. 
the head is heavy, you might practice a soft neutral gaze somewhere between the heels. Traditional drishti in this pose is the belly button, which can be quite a lot in the neck. So find a placement of the head, the gaze, that feels right for you. Nice, we'll inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Lift the heels, gaze towards the top of your mat. Take a few steps to arrive up at the top. We'll meet together on an inhale, flat back, halfway lift, palms to shins. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Press into the feet, inhale, the arms reach up. And exhale to bring the palms through to heart center. Nice. We'll do that a little bit faster this time. Breath to movement. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back, palms to shins. Exhale, plant the palms on the mat. Step the feet back into a high plank pose. Exhale, lower yourself down halfway or onto the belly. Untuck the toes. Inhale, cobra pose or maybe upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes under. Press yourself back, downward facing dog. Let's find three breaths in this downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Nice ujjayi, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Lifting the heels will gaze between the hands. Take a few steps or maybe you'd like to hop up to the top of your mat. Inhale, palms to shins, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, hinge, fold forward. We'll press into the feet. Inhale, the arms reach up and overhead. Bring the palms to connect. This time we'll bend the elbows, cactus the arms, pull the heart through. Maybe there's a little back bend as you shift the hips forward. Inhale, the arms reach up. Let's reach for that left wrist with the right palm. Pull yourself up and over to the right side for a lateral side bend. If you want a little bit more here, you might choose to cross that left ankle behind the right foot. Length through the full left side of the body from the outer edge of the foot through the fingertips. Nice. Inhale, come back up through center. Release the left foot to meet the right. This time, maybe reaching for that right wrist with the left palm. Pull yourself, pull yourself up and over to the left. Same option here. You might cross that right foot behind the left. Hmm. Inhale, the arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, swan dive forward. Nice forward fold. Inhale, find a flat back, halfway lift. Exhale is going to step that right foot back. Nice long stance here. Left knee is stacked over the left ankle. It's not tracking past. Our inhale reaches the arms up. Find a high crescent lunge. Nice. So you might take a moment here in this first lunge to adjust your stance accordingly. You might like a little bit more space between the toes and the heel. I like to see that my feet are on railroad tracks rather than on a tightrope. That'll offer me a little bit more stability in my stance. Keep drawing the left hip back, right hip forward. Engagement in the inner thigh muscles, those adductor muscles. Nice inhale. Exhale, twist open to the left side. Left arm will sweep behind you. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge, fold forward. Bring that right palm to the inside of the left foot. Inhale, left arm reaches up high, gaze towards the left thumb. Inhale. And exhale, sweep the left palm back down to frame the left foot. Let's step that right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold yourself forward. This time that left foot steps back. Keep the right foot forward. Right knee stacks over right ankle. Inhale, reaches the arms up. High crescent lunge. Again, taking a moment here to find correct placement of your feet. A stance that works for you that's stabilizing, but where we're still able to find strength in the lower body. We're awakening the body, awakening the breath. Inhale, feel the rib cage lift as you breathe in. And exhale, right arm sweeps behind your back, gaze towards the right thumb. Nice, inhale. <sighs> exhale. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bring both hands down. This time that left foot comes to the inside, left palm comes to the inside of the right foot. 
Inhale, right arm reaches up high towards the ceiling. Nice. The head is an extension of the spine here. Keep integrity in the neck. Inhale. Exhale, bring that right hand down to frame the left foot. This time we'll step the right foot back to meet the left. Option to move through that vinyasa if you'd like. Or just press yourself back into a child's pose. Close your eyes, bring the forehead down onto the mat. Maybe you rock the forehead side to side to massage the third eye. Do you feel sensation in the inner thighs, the legs, maybe the shoulders and the arms feel a little bit warmer than when you first woke up today? Walk the palms back. We'll come into a seated position. Extend the legs out wide into a straddle. A little bit more movement, extension, and bending of the spine here. We'll inhale to reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, side bend up and over to the right side. That right forearm might come to the inside of the leg. Maybe you keep the palm on the mat. Left arm reaches up and over, but try to keep that left sitting bone grounded down. Lengthen the left side body, particularly this space between the pelvis and the ribs. If it's comfortable in the neck, you might have a neutral gaze straight forward. Maybe you gaze up towards your left hand. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, side bend over to the left side. Right arm reaches up and over. Same options with that left palm. Keep the right sitting bone grounded and rooted into your mat. Select your placement of the head by choosing a drishti, a gaze. Inhale, the arms reach up. This time we'll exhale, fold yourself forward. Crawl the palms forward. Uh, you might not fold too far this morning. That's a-okay. Maybe the forearms make contact with the earth. Maybe you have a block, a bolster, a pillow, something to rest the forehead on. We'll be here for a few breaths. Use your next inhale to start to walk the hands back. And then using the hands to reach for the backs of the thighs, we'll start to reach the knees up towards the ceiling. Windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Toe healing the feet to about hips width distance apart and walking the heels in a little bit closer towards the glutes. We'll walk the hands back so that we come to laying down flat on our back for a few rounds of a dynamic bridge pose. Start with the palms flipped down towards the earth. Your next inhale, we'll press into the feet, lift the hips, extend the arms up and overhead. Exhale to soften the hips back down towards the mat. Release your hands down to your sides. Again, inhale to lift the hips. Arms sweep overhead. Exhale to soften the hips back down, release the hands. Let's do that a few more times. Move at your own pace, but bring your awareness back to your breath. As you extend the arms, do you feel like you have a little bit more mobility or space to breathe into the rib cage and feel the expansion? Does the breath feel a little bit more vigorous, a little bit more awakened than when we started the practice? One more time, inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And exhale, soften the hands. Toe heel the feet together so that the toes touch. Let the knees butterfly out wide. Arms will extend up and overhead one last time. Reach for opposite elbows to find Supta Baddha Konasana. So in this pose, the hips and the heart are open. So you may feel a little bit exposed, but know that this front side of the body is indicative of the future. As the hips and the heart are the front of the body, it's also the place that we confront life head on. So close the eyes, 
Maybe you'd like to select a word. Maybe it's a feeling. Something that you would like to evoke for your day. A quality that you'd like to bring with you, that you'd like to call out in yourself. Maybe it's grace. Maybe it's love. Patience. Once you've found that word, just repeat it to yourself a few times. Hold it in your heart and in your mind. Throughout your day, bring this felt sense of contentment, serenity, and peace. And you're welcome to stay in this heart and hip opening shape for a few more moments, or maybe releasing the hands, guiding the knees together, straighten the legs, let the backs of the palms rest on your mat for a few moments of intentional, committed relaxation. Shavasana.